Mr. McAllister, Miss Crimson is here to see you. Well, it's about time. Show her in. The eagle has landed. Here, this is the last runaway dog story I'll ever write for this stupid paper. I quit. <laughs> nice to see you too, Meg. Well, for your next assignment, how would you like to travel to faraway countries and become a worldwide celebrity? I said I. Qu did you mention faraway countries? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. The Donovan Corporation recently acquired the prestigious World Geographic magazine, and I suggested your name for a very special project. World Geo. Wow. Okay, what's the catch? Hey, no catch. Here's your plane ticket. You're leaving for Africa tomorrow night. We made arrangements to have a boat waiting to take you and your team to, uh, well, well, you'll see, somewhere in the jungle. You'll have to find a man who goes by the name of Steppenwolf. Check your email for additional instructions once you get there. Yes, it's all going according to plan. Are you sure you don't need any help with those bags? Thanks. But this equipment, it's extremely valuable, and it must be handled with the utmost precision. Sure, whatever. Here's our boat. You are Miss Crimson. You don't seem like the sort of person who'd go chasing after giant reptiles. Where's the rest of your team? Giant reptiles? This walking pile of luggage back here is the rest of my team. Well, if everyone's here, hop in. I'd like to reach our destination before sundown. The sacred lawns are no place to hang around during a night of sacrifice. Unless you want to become the sacrifice, that is. Live from the Republic of the Congo, here's your host, Meg Crimson. Welcome to this world premiere webcast of Secrets of the Wild. Today we will show you images of untamed, barely explored wilderness at its most mysterious. We're approaching the source of the Motaba River at great personal risk and only for your enjoyment. Now let me introduce you to the captain of our boat, the man who will take us deep into... Oh. Hey! What's going on here? Captain! Derek! Derek! What's wrong? I seem to have been hit by some sort of arrow. Don't worry, I'll get some help. I feel weak. Must be poison. Are you all right? These arrows must be poisoned. <coughs> Here, take this antidote, dissolve it in alcohol, and bring it back before the poison makes it to my brain. Go! Hurry! <coughs> Here, drink this. Where's my luggage? I can't leave without it. I'll get them for you. Rats. The doors locked themselves and now I'm stuck in here.
captain managed to escape. And to think that I almost got myself killed to save your stupid luggage. Ah, uh, if I may, uh, I assure you that our ultimate survival depends on certain items which I'm carrying. Yeah, right. Anyway, let's get out of here. Too late, I'm afraid. Their aim seems a tad imprecise. Imprecise? <coughs> where... Where am I? What happened to us? And where's Derek? Yes, I speak English. Have you seen my friend? How can we escape? You mean the guy with the red hair? They're gonna sacrifice him. Help me get out of here, and I'll tell you how to escape. Sorry. Would it be at all possible? Um, 
Not that I mind doing whatever it is you want, of course. I'll do anything but... Huh? Are, are these your brothers? I, I come in peace, really. Ah! Derek, no time to waste. will make a great shot. In the very heart of the swamp stands what seems to be a sacred altar. <gasps> Who the hell are you? Shh. Look, buddy, I'm working here, so just step aside and be quiet, okay? Hey! What's your problem? Oh my god! What is this? What is this? This is the Mokoli Mende. Hey, I'm still alive. What the? Oh no! Ah! Derek, what is he doing up there? I have a feeling he's been invited for lunch. We have to do something. Come on, monkey boy. You know humans don't belong in a well-balanced diet.
Let's get out of here. The big fellow back there should wake up any minute now. You? You are the Steppenwolf, aren't you? Does it matter? By the way, where is your friend? Derek? What is he up to this time? Derek? Wait for me! My, uh, my foot got stuck in the mud! Yes, I got the stuff. I'm Meg Crimson. I'm a reporter for World Geo Magazine. I was about to quit when my boss, McAllister, suddenly offered me this incredible assignment. A series of online reports about mythical beasts and monsters. As part of my assignment, I had to find Alan Kane, a secretive self-trained expert in cryptozoology, whatever that is, who lives in the jungle and calls himself Steppenwolf. My assistant, Derek, and I were ambushed on our first day in the Congo. I managed to escape, but Derek wasn't so lucky. He was earmarked as the main course in a ghastly sacrificial ritual. This is when the mysterious Steppenwolf entered the picture. Our relationship got off to a rocky start. He's about as unpredictable as a wild animal himself. Still, he managed to neutralize the Mokele Membe while I freed Derek from his precarious position. In the end, we got away safe and sound, but I can't help but feel that there's more to this thing than meets the eye. Maybe I'll find out more in the Himalayas. Yes! I know! Oh, you can't imagine what we had to go through to get that footage. What? Well, no, I tried, but for some obscure reason he just wouldn't accept your generous offer. Yes, we'll start looking for the Yeti as soon as we get there. Okay, Meg. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Yes. We know what you're capable of. I'm afraid we'll have to call off this whole masquerade. It doesn't matter. Mr. Donovan anticipated this turn of events. Phase one of operations served its purpose. Now it's time to move on to phase two. Already? What about Miss Crimson? Miss Crimson? Who is Miss Crimson? Never heard that name before. Now what? It's the fifth time this train has stopped. Can't they teach the yaks to stay off the tracks or something? This is not the controller, is it? I huh? Oh no! Derek! What are they doing to him? Oh my god! I've got to get away from this place. What does it mean? These fanatics were ordered to capture me alive.
Derek's luggage. The monastery. There has to be a phone there. Hello? Can anybody help me? A guest we have here might be of some help. Reporter Crimson, I presume? You! Oh, I thought you had absolutely no interest in our worthless, scientifically bankrupt little project. Not really. Let's just say I was curious to see how far you could go, which won't be very far at all, unless you find a way to get rid of those guys. got to get away fast. These guys are real killers. No, I must meditate in the shrine first. Otherwise, we'll never find the path leading to the Yeti. To the guardian of the mountain, your prayers to the Buddha will lead you. Meanwhile, a safe passage out of the temple we will take you to. Of your friend, we shall take care later. But my report... Don't worry. Our host knows the way. on Mount Shishapain. I must distract them. going. Are you sure he's going to be there? A Sherpa village at the high end of this road. This is where we will see Steppenwolf again. Although, to be sure, the hardest path he will choose. Always he does. Even when in pursuit, no one is. Hmm. <laughs> That's him all right.
Pa. Pa. This is what happens to nasty boys. Over here, you jungle freak! You! Yes! And as you can see, I brought some company. Rats! He's totally lost it! Where are the others? What have you done to them? Let's say they're up for a very, very long meditation session. Bastards! I know the Donovan Corporation is pulling your strings, puppet man. The only thing I can't figure out is why they'd pick an amateur like you for the x creature project. Huh? Oh, the X or what? Oh, let me guess. They didn't even tell you. <laughs> That's typical. What are you talking about? Stop playing smartass with me and bring us to the Yeti, or you'll have to answer to this. Ming, Chang, you get the stuff while I check them out. What is it, Derek? Afraid of the dark? Can't do the dirty work yourself? You shut up, or I'll blow your heads off! Well, Mr. Know-it-all, time to show us how good you really are. Go in there and bring back a sample of that beast's blood. Well, Miss Crimson here keeps me company. Dark. Hand-to-hand -hand combat doesn't sound like such a great idea.
you betray us like that? Oh, don't try to understand, my dear. This is way out of your league. And I always thought you were just a wimp. What a nice surprise to find out you're a pompous fool as well. That is quite enough. Suck up or die. All right, cut it out. I've got your sample. Let me see that stuff. Not until you tell us what's going to happen next. I tell you what. The plan is fairly simple. <laughs> you leave that bag right here, and you join Miss Wannabe over there for a nice long one-way trip to hell. I guess that's it. It's been nice working with you. Wait, the fun's just beginning. Oh, an empty bag. Oh, so very charming. Where is my Yeti blood? Uh, uh, oh my... What? Now would be a good time to leave. I didn't think it could get any worse. McAllister got on my case about my report on the Mokele Membe, and then he shipped me to Tibet to hunt for the Yeti without a moment's rest. And of course, Steppenwolf's refusal to help us didn't make things any easier. In the Himalayas, Derek and I were attacked by a heavily armed Chinese militia. I got away, but Derek wasn't so lucky. I found refuge in a nearby monastery, where who should I run into again but the mysterious Steppenwolf, the last person I would ever expect to find there. Steppenwolf's sudden return was suspicious, but not as out there as Derek's return from being dead. I knew then that I was in the middle of something a lot bigger than I thought. I was beginning to understand Steppenwolf's reservations. The mystery surrounding the X-Creatures was about to be uncovered. I guess this is where your Secrets of the Wild adventure comes to an end. Yeah, I'll bet. Can't believe I got hooked into a sick joke like that. I'm sorry. That's just the way Donovan is, especially when the ex-creatures are concerned. But why? Why should he care? Oh, long story. Try me. It began years ago, when old Edward Donovan decided to invest his billions in a program only he was crazy enough to undertake. The oldest desire of humanity. Extend the limits of life expectancy. Obviously he didn't succeed. He's been dead for years. Right. But then his son, Reggie, took interest in the project and trouble began. How does all this relate to the X-creatures? Cryptozoology studies creatures that seem to outlast their own species. Shelley Thompson, the leader of the X-creatures project, thought they carried some sort of longevity gene. I want to talk to that woman. Where can I find her? At the bottom of the sea, off the coast of Antarctica, where her plane crashed years ago. Anyway, the company shut the project down during the last recession. I'd like to know why Donovan has brought it back. I think I know just the person who could tell us. Welcome to the final episode of Secrets of the Wild where we will expose some pretty smelly corporate crap. Meg! What are you doing here? I felt like chatting a little. Just you and me. You've always been my favorite. Don't, don't you know? Spare me. Just blurt it out. Why? I had no choice. Donovan is a very powerful man. Well, he promised and threatened, but... If I had known how far it would go... You are pitiful, especially when you're drunk. Well, let's get out of here and you can make it up to me by telling me everything you know about Donovan and his pet project. This building always gives me the creeps. By, by the way, how did you get in? The door was open. But I, but I asked James to let no one in. He wasn't there. In the red drawer. All you need to know. In the red drawer. He's still alive. There's no time to waste.
This must be a list of people related to the X Creature Project. Reporter Crimson? Yes, I'm fine, but everything went wrong. McAllister's on his way to the hospital. I was able to pick up some document and a mini-disc. Seems like an access key to a file of some kind. There was a list of names. Shelley Thompson was among them. The GeneX research team roaster? How the hell did you get your hands on that? Hey, I'm a professional. Getting my hands on juicy data is my job. Well, listen, Bob Woodward. This is no Watergate. They wouldn't let you get this list unless they had a purpose. What do you think? That I found this on the floor? I almost got killed. Donovan must be hiding something huge. I smell a great story. Trust me, I know the guy. You really should lay low for a while. Besides, your story will be even better when I get back. And just where are you going? Some place where I can chill out. I thought you said you'd never come back to this frozen hellhole, Mr. Action Figure. I must have missed all these great landscapes filled with nothing at all. Except the labs. After Shelley's accident, Donovan suggested that I should avoid the area. One more reason to go. I'll drop you as close as possible. Never mind. I wasn't really expecting the easy way in. <laughs> Frost jets. The elevator's electrical system is out of order. Today was a big day. Big enough for champagne, right guys? I wish Alan was here to see it. We are now on the verge of a major breakthrough. 
For the first time, we successfully synthesized a combination of the five primal genes we isolated so far. This will allow the human body to absorb them. We call this new process OSIRIS, for osmosis of irregular inner systems, which we will explain and demonstrate on the video labeled 805. Shelley, so you did isolate the genes. Why did you have to leave the lab at the point? Then the Osiris process was experimented. Video 805. Mr. Sanchez, this is Meg Crimson of the Daily Tribune. I am not interested in your rubbish. I have evidence that some colleagues of yours have been eliminated. I already know that. I'm going to need your help to fill in the blanks. Maybe you could start by telling me about this. It's the code key for the archive vault in Houston's headquarters. How the hell did you get it? I'll tell you on our way to Houston. From here, I shall be able to hack into their network and unlock some of the access codes. Talk to me on the microphone when you're stuck. And be careful. The security in this building is a real killer. Enjoy your visit. And how is Donovan Corporation's stock doing on the market these days? The shares went up four points again. This is great. Thanks. I'm in the elevator. What do I do now? This elevator can't reach the 101st floor. You have to get out on the 90th floor, which is a security control zone. Can you open the door? 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 I need a code.
Johnson is Steppenwolf's wife. Why didn't he tell me? That's enough information for now. If I had known how good you were, few others have made it this far. Impressive. Mr. Kane chooses his associates well. Forget about Kane. I'm here because I believe people have to know about your activities. In time they will know. Although I cannot let media frenzy spoil the surprise. Oh, not yet. Still, as a reporter, we think you would be a great asset to our team. We need someone like you to cover what is known as the X Creatures Project. You have a funny way of showing your interest. A terrible misunderstanding. We need you, and we would like to offer you something you just cannot afford to refuse. The answer must be in this missing video about the Osiris experiment. It's probably hidden somewhere else. I should be able to find some answers behind those doors. An experiment like this must have left some other traces than this degenerated monkey. seem to have undergone genetic tampering. <laughs> the tranquilizer gun is empty. This will surely be useful. This is not X-Creature blood, it's human blood. Welcome home, Alan. Reggie. 
I see you met Honeybone. I know. She's in pretty bad shape. What about the plane crash? Father wanted to spare you the shock. Touching, isn't it? She wouldn't have done it. Well, you know scientists. They search and they search, and when they think they found something, they just have to try. <laughs> Her missing video journal entry. You see how it all makes sense? Get to the point. What do you want? <laughs> the missing part of the video we have. It's not a very pleasant show, but it does specify an antidote for the change. Your wife recorded the formula before she injected the serum, but she just didn't have time to prepare it before her brain was affected. She became violent, wrecked the whole place, including the blood samples. Without them, she has no chance at redemption. While I was in New York City to clear things up with McAllister, we were attacked by the albino, Donovan's hired killer. It was becoming crystal clear that I had entangled myself in a terrible web of deceit, and that my recent actions had made me Donovan's number one target. Not without qualms, I decided to strike at the heart of the conspiracy by confronting Donovan himself with the invaluable help of Octavio Sanchez, one of the Dark Project scientists. I managed to sneak into the mega corporation's headquarters near Austin, Texas. I finally got to meet Donovan. He wouldn't reveal his motives, but at least he didn't try to shoot me. Meanwhile, deep in Antarctica, Steppenwolf continued the inquiry on the X Creatures Project's old abandoned settlement. After a tough fight, he managed to capture a hideous beast created by one of the project's failed genetic experiments. Little did Dr. Kane know that this monster, the Haruka, was hiding an even more troubling secret. Keep a close eye on our new X team. We all knew that Steppenwolf is a difficult one, but the little journalist with Bambi eyes, she's even worse. Don't worry. I know from the Congo how these do things. Since our last attempt to get the Kraken's blood was such a disaster, this time it's imperative that we trick Steppenwolf into getting the missing gene for us. They will probably start by finding an engineer there. We know that man is developing a device that should allow us to reach the deep of the ocean. I want you to get everything that relates to this. Don't worry. I'm a fellow seaman. They don't call me captain for nothing. Didn't you tell me Shelley Thompson was, I mean, is your wife? Probably because I wanted to leave this part of my life in the past. I have a bad feeling about this. Donovan's up to no good, and he's got us right in the middle of it. So what's the plan? I think we're going to have to split up once we're in Bike Bay. It's our only chance to shake that gorilla off. Don't worry. I will take care of the captain. He probably can't resist poor, helpless girls like me. Good. I'll go see Olaf Ardvor at his house near the cliffs. Meanwhile, find Warehouse 12 near the docks. I will meet you there. What are you two up to? We were talking about those fishermen. We might need to ask them some questions about the Kraken. They're a bit intimidating, don't you think? Hey, sweetie. Please forget. I'm a fellow seaman. I speak their language. How was your catch today? Right? That won't go, right? Never mind that. Actually, we're wondering about the Kraken, okay? You know, Kraken. Kraken? Hey, where's that white monkey anyway? I don't know. Guess he's old enough to get by on his own. You, on the other hand, are going nowhere. Now how am I going to ditch this moron? Be the 
Hangar 12 Steppenwolf told me about. What is this? Huh? A bomb! My father's workshop. I'm Meg Crimson. I'm a friend of Alan Kane, the Steppenwolf. I was waiting for your father when I found a bomb inside. A bomb? Oh no! And there's Alan. He is supposed to meet your father up at the villa. When Dr. Kane is near, trouble shortly follows. I see you know the guy well. Don't you worry. They'll be here soon. I wish I could be that confident. This place is a prime target. What are you talking about? Who's targeting you? The Daga League, a small but aggressive green extremist group that wants to defend nature's greatest secrets. They already tried to intimidate my father into giving up his search for the Kraken. Looks like they've turned up the volume. Go back, the Kraken is out of order. It's our greatest attraction. Yeah, but every time I come here, the damn thing is broken. The door is open. Olaf! Alan, watch your back! <clears throat> Here, I'll clear it away. Clear the way. <laughs> Hurry, they'll be here any second. They here, I'll clear the way.
What happened here? We saw an explosion from afar. Seems like our project is attracting strong opposition. It's the Darga League. I don't think it's a coincidence that they are carrying out their threats with your arrival. Father, I think we should put your project on hold for a while. It's becoming far too dangerous. On the contrary, my sweet. This is exactly what they want. But they don't realize that I've got a bone to pick with this creature from hell. So you did it. The Deep Blue is finally a reality. What is it? The Deep Blue allows a human to reach great water depths. Part of it is controlled via an intermediate station underwater. This allows the Deep Blue to have a great level of autonomy. The only way to trick the Kakel is to go into his own environment. But Father, you know that some parts of the Deep Blue are still untested. Its main features are functional. Ula, trust me. This is our best chance to uncover the secrets of the deep. The dagger leaf? It was her? Why would you do something like that? The Kraken is a secret that shall not be revealed. We took care of Deep Blue, and now it's too late for Steppenwolf. What? What have you done? I knew I wouldn't be able to prevent that stubborn fool from going down. So instead we destroyed what would have allowed him to come back. He wanted to go deep, now he can stay there. Now what? I 
he'll monitor your progress. Be careful, Mrs. Machine. I spent years building the damn thing. Don't worry. I'll treat her like a gentleman. The electric stunners are empty. Don't tell me they've been tested three days ago. This is insane. How are you going to stun the beast? Don't worry. I'll think of something.
found a lot of working electric charges. Who is this person? What is going on? It's quite a story. Let me introduce you to Captain Lachlan from the Donovan Corporation. And to my right, Ula, your daughter and leader of the Dagger League. What? Father, you should have listened to me. Okay, enough family baggage. Let me see the stuff. Hey, Captain. I thought you were out fishing with your Norwegian pal. You really thought you could get rid of me that easily? No, we just thought we'd get the job done faster without your help. No matter. Mr. Donovan is waiting for your little treasure. Some doubt remained as to the Haruka's true identity. Was it really Shelley Thompson, Steppenwolf's wife, who had inflicted this horrible transformation upon herself? If so, Donovan said there might be a chance to bring her back to humanity. This time, Donovan had us in an iron grip. We had no choice but to help him gather the missing X-creature genes, no matter what his true motives were. It is in this dark frame of mind that we left for the fjords of the Norwegian coast to seek out the terrible Kraken. First, we had to meet Olaf Hargvor, an old acquaintance of Steppenwolf, who had developed a special submarine for this very purpose. The job would be difficult. In addition to the imbecile captain whom Donovan had saddled us with, a dangerous eco-terrorist group called the Dagger League had vowed to keep us from spoiling the secret of the giant squid. But for Steppenwolf, the true challenge of this adventure remained the mysterious creature hiding in the depths of the Norwegian Sea, a cold, inhospitable world hiding the savage and merciless Keeper of the Deep, better known as the Kraken. Sweet thing, I'm one small blood sample away from solving all my problems. Then everything will happen in your precious little veins. So, my little Puerto Rican friend, you've finally seen the light. Well, that's good, because I don't have a minute to spare, and I can't afford to trust Steppenwolf or his pet reporter. I desire to see the Chupacabra again, and this is the only reason why I have agreed to collaborate. Well, your motivations are irrelevant. What matters is that you are the only scientist who's been able to approach this monster. So go and bring his blood back to me! I'm looking forward to seeing this creature. I've often wondered if it wasn't a mere tourist trap, like Nessie, for instance. Of course, if the great Steppenwolf hasn't found the beast yet, it must be because it doesn't exist. I understand your skepticism. However, before you seek the Chupacabra, you must know the intricacies of Puerto Rican society. What do you mean? 
On this island, there are powers, occult forces, only members of the Brotherhood can understand. What a spectacular view of the, hmm, shanty towns. Quite a change from Scandinavia, isn't it? I'm sure you'd like San Juan if you gave it a chance. The nightlife is very interesting. Some of the salsa cafes nearby are worth the plane trip by themselves. Is that an invitation? Well, maybe. But in the meantime, Octavio should be back from his meeting with his contact, Raul Rodriguez. I should check up on him. I'll be back shortly. Hey, wait! What am I supposed to do? Stay here and watch soap operas in Spanish? I'm with Octavio at the Hotel Santo. He's been hurt. We need help now. I'm on it.
Don't worry, Octavio. Steppenwolf isn't answering his calls, but I'll find him. Miss, you're looking for the Chubacabra, aren't you? Yes. How do you know? A local farmer's goats were slaughtered by the monster. Its tracks are still fresh. I'll take you there, if you can afford my price. Right. Shouldn't you be in school instead of hustling the tourists? My father was a good friend of Octavio Sanchez. Since I saw the two of you arriving together, I figured you might be interested. But if you're not... I am. All right, lead the way. Go away. I... I told you, th there is nothing to see here. This man is scared to death. But of what? I'll have to sneak in to learn what he's hiding. I will attract his attention.
Now you know what happens to those who refuse to cooperate. Don't bother asking for help, you won't get it, and you never know when you'll be asking one of us. We're everywhere. So from now on, do exactly as we say, and don't whisper a word to anyone, or next time, it won't be your livestock lying shredded in a pool of blood and gore. Intimidation seems to be a common practice over here. I've had just about enough of these disgusting concoctions. Stop moving, Mr. Jonathan, or I'm gonna mess up your beautiful face. I'll only accept orders from a babe like you if you get a little closer to me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jonathan! <laughs> Come on now, Albino. Can't a man have some fun? <laughs> I guess not. <coughs> anyway, I, I don't really trust this Sanchez. I think you should go to Puerto Rico and keep a close eye on our team. Find a way to save that kid. Here, doggy, look for Pedro. Are you all right? I'll survive if we can find a quick way to get me out of here. Steppenwolf, I'm in big trouble. I must do something.
Then is Donna King Traff. What are you doing in bed? Mr. Donovan is waiting for the stuff. As I warned you, the members of the organization declined your offer. We will have to rely on Steppenwolf to get the job done on his own. What, me? Trust this jerk and his girlfriend? I have better ways to deal with voodoo freaks. My god, Pedro, he's injured. No, this is only goat's blood. They use it to lure the chupacabra and make it commit the crime in this deed. Seems like we're in the middle of some kind of ritual.
without this whistle, they won't be able to control the beast anymore. Pedro, what are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Mama, a chubacabra. I saw it. I wonder what will happen now that we have all the samples. Um, maybe I don't really want to think about that. Yeah, I don't care either. So, do you have the sample? Good, get on board. Mr. Donovan is very anxious to resume the X Creatures project. By then, Donovan Jr. had but one obsession. Find the last creature to complete the serum. If we wanted to solve the Shelley Thompson mystery, we had no choice but to comply with that madman's wishes and follow Octavio Sanchez to San Juan, Puerto Rico to search for the Chupacabra. Before he vanished, Sanchez warned us about a dangerous cult terrorizing Puerto Rican society. With help from a boy named Pedro, we were able to follow this organization's trail all the way to the cave where the beast was hidden and where they performed their disgusting sacrificial rituals in its honor. With all of the DNA samples now in our possession, we only had to put the pieces of the puzzle together to unveil the secrets of the X Creatures project. Finally, the time of reckoning is upon us. I still think we should perform a few more tests first. Why? I don't see how we could make her worse than she already is. I've waited long enough. Get on with it. The serum seems to be working. Shelly. So it was her. I was afraid this might happen. The initial transformation has caused too much damage. I'm sorry, but I don't think she's going to make it. And from the creature emerges the creator. You bastard. You forced her to do this to herself. Why are you hiding behind that mask? What kind of monster are you? Shut up! I've seen enough of you two! Get rid of them! The helicopter! It's our only way out! But the place is crawling with harmed guards. Stay here, I'll clear the way.
stuck in my seat. Don't worry, Meg. I'll get you out of there. This passage must lead to the dam's internal corridors. This may be our way off the island. Stay here and hide. I'll try to clear the way so we can escape. Surprise! This passage need help. I'm on. How does that work? Don't damage her too much, boys. The tattooed freak will only bite if we use live bait. But if she tries to escape again, kill her. And now leave me alone. It's just you and me, baby. You really should wait. Get out! Unless you care to become the next X creature. Oh, my precious treasure. You and I, we're the only ones who know what's good for me, aren't we? Nice work, Dr. Kane. Exactly how many people are you working for? Go to the other side of the island. You will find a secondary compound and Shelly locked up in it. And why should I trust you? Shelly was my friend and I regret what happened to her just as much as you do. Do you want to see her again or not?
Alan, where have you been? If you knew how many times I've pictured this moment. The project. How is the project going? It's a complete success. The Osiris effect works. You were right. Really? Oh, this pain. What is this? Donovan has locked himself in the lab hours ago. He has completely lost his mind. I hope I never see his horrible face again. I have never seen him like this. But those deep wrinkles, they look like Werner syndrome, a rare disease that causes premature aging. We have to stop him before he does something even worse. But there is a way. Eat. I'm sure it will give you ideas. Sanchez, come with us. Mr. Donovan isn't feeling too good. Meg, I have taken the liberty to record this message on your PDA. Check your email from time to time for instructions. Hey! You there! This food is disgusting! <clears throat> Nitrogen streams? There's no way I can get through.
keeping Edward Donovan's body in here. going to need a blowtorch to cut through. Something is really wrong here. I've got to... Donov... Listen to me. Several warheads hidden beneath the lab will detonate any minute. Seven Wolf, I'm losing him. Damn, what is wrong with this piece of junk? I may have forgotten to mention that I have set explosive charges around the access passages. Not only does Steppenwolf have to get out of the lab, he'll have to get as far away from the compound as possible. Oh, great. <laughs>
cannon is on automatic. Everything seems to be linked to the main radar. Careful, these pylons are very unstable.
son of a bitch. I hope that Steppenwolf managed to get out in time. I'm sure he did. That man has more lives than a cat. I will see you again, Dr. Kane.